This is a video showing how to find the position of the image in a plane mirror. First of all, draw in the mirror. This is a straight line that I've got here. The reflective side of the surface is shown by the dashed line here. So that's the back of the mirror. And I'll draw in an object there, so there's my object. So what I need to do is to draw in two rays of light so that you can see the difference between them I'll use different colours. So that's one ray of light don't forget to draw an arrow on so I draw a second ray of light in Now, if we're going to draw in the reflected rays, we need to have normals. So, I'll draw in where the normals would be. And those dashed lines, don't forget, they are at right angles to the surface. And second one here. And then I make the reflected rays an angle equal to the angle of incidence. So remember, the angle of incidence is that angle there, so the angle of reflection is equal to that, and so the ray of light there goes off in that direction. My other ray of light, it's at a larger angle of incidence, the angle being larger, so when it reflects it will be at a larger angle of reflection, and again drawing the arrows to show their directions. Now, those two rays of light are obviously not going to meet. They're spreading further and further apart. But if you were to be observing from here, so if you placed your eye here, then if you looked back, you would see that the rays of light appear to come from somewhere back here on the far side of the mirror. And that's what we notice. When you look in a mirror, you see your image as being on the far side of the mirror there. So whereabouts is it that those rays of light appear to come from? Let's go back to the red ray here and if I draw in a dashed line and continue that across then and stop it about there and do the same for the blue ray of light. So that goes back along to here. And then what you see is that these two rays of light meet up at a point there. Now, you'll notice I've used dashed lines. That's because those are not actual rays of light. They just appear to have come from there. The rays of light reflected off the mirror. If you were observing it here, you think that's where they have come from. So that is where the image is. The image is where the light appears to come from. So whereabouts is the image? Well, if we measure it, we'll see that the object in this case is 4 centimetres on that side of the mirror, and the image is 4 centimetres on this side. So the image is the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. In this case, 4 centimetres there, 4 centimetres there. This image isn't a real image, it's what we call a virtual image. Why is it virtual? Well, the light hasn't actually come from there. The light has just reflected off here. But when you look in the mirror, it appears as if that is where the rays of light have come from. So it is a virtual image.